Oh, oh, give me a good sigil. Um, I'm looking for a snake. Oh. Okay, I, that's actually, that actually might work. The serpent eating its own tail. 67, all right, I have to remember that one. 67, um, clams, fish, fish, more fish. Okay. I always wanted to do a house with like tridents and fish. Yeah, that's always cool. But I'm looking for a serpent. I think we got a few of them though. Another one. Cause I I think basilisks are snakes, or they could be giant um, giant lizards. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna do. I'm actually going to try to look it up real quick. What the fuck is a? Oh, I suppose I don't need. All right. What is a basilisk? What is it? Oh, of course I'm gonna. Whoa. All right, so this is what I got. Oh, let me get my. Let me get this live stream out of the way. Hey, Mark, Bright Lord, Simone, welcome. Welcome to um, a brief little bit of a a basilisk with six fucking legs. Ka okay. Jungles of Yeti. And so Thorios Basilisks were once numerous in the Basilisk Isles lending to their name. Are still found in great numbers? Okay. Alright. So they're very, like demonic, um, <laughs> demonic Komodo dragons almost. Uh, is able to tear a large dog to pieces. Venomous at our source of Basilisk's ven venom. Okay. Cool. Interesting. So maybe a snake wouldn't be, uh, fitting. Hey, Rasmus. Welcome to a, uh, different form of blah, 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 uh, Crusader Kings 2. I got some time before work, so... Oh, 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 that could work. Um, got some time before work, so I figure I'll play some CK2. And we're gonna play as Gogosos, the newly freed Valyrian colony. Uh, they're not dragons, though. I just had it. I lost it. What the fuck? I just had it. OMG. We're not gonna spend too long on this. There it is. And then let's just use um, the colors this guy is using. Is this the only yellow they have? This is a pretty sad state of affairs. And black? That's going to make an ugly ass. Yeah, I want that rich gold color. I suppose I might have to go to a different... That sucks. Yeah, I, I really don't like this. This color scheme makes my eyes hurt. Um... Perhaps something a little bit more reasonable. Maybe the opposite. Ah, that's that's a that's a classic gold. Aha! There we go. This will work. And because I'm absolutely unoriginal, this is going to be House Basilisk. Hey, does anybody want to be our first character? Does anybody want to be Magister Jamian? Apparently, Gagosus is a free city. Who wants this character? Uh, speaking of the character. What sort of education would I like? Hmm. I have no idea. Cruel strategies. I didn't plan any of this out. This is all freeform happening. Happening right now. As it occurs. Hmm. Maybe. Do you have... A lizard lion. Yeah, that's close, I guess. A whale. What do you get? You get diplomacy. <laughs> you get diplomacy. All right. Um, cool. A goat. Marshal. A fox. Intrigue. A crane. Intrigue and diplomacy. You get three diplomacy if you have a panda. Interesting. A giant bat. What the hell is a Harakar? Well, the mighty lions of the Dothraki Sea. Interesting. Let's go with a great ape. A great Sothori... Sothori... Ape from the Dark Forest south of Yin. Oh, so here's Yin. Okay, so these things are like off the map. That's how rare they are. The size of a giant. So it's like King Kong. Awesome. We'll totally do that. He's followed by a great ape. He is followed by a great ape. And let's give him some dual skill. 
from Midwell Fighter. How old is that going to make us? Very old. Very old. Um, but you know what? I am not super concerned about being overthrown. Just for some reason, I don't really get that that, that vibe. Um, let's go with Ruthless. Where is Ruthless? I'm, I must have missed it. Where? I don't see it. You would think I'd I'd have it on lock. Where, where is it? I feel like it's supposed to be in here somewhere. Did I pick a trait that somehow makes it impossible for me to be ruthless? I might have. No, I just missed it. All right, twenty-seven. Oh, come on. Work with me. We could also be rude. Um, hold on. There we go. Yeah, you'd think I would know this by now. All right. So I'm gonna. I'm. I'm definitely gonna pick great ape, but I want to have it in a different. I want to have it at the end. For some reason, in my head, I feel like the the uh, the order of traits should be uh, congenital traits and then training skill and fighting and then your actual traits. I could probably even go for uncouth, um, which is just attraction opinion, which honestly doesn't make that much of a difference. But we'd only get a, an extra. No, 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 no. We should do that. We should do uncouth because then what that can allow me to do is I can put points into stuff. All right, yeah, so I was able to put one point into all my stats because I picked an uncouth, yeah. All right, uh, who called it? Kevin called it first, so it's going to be Kevin. Actually, you know what, Kevin? I'm going to take your last name, and that will be the house. Kevin Roberts. And I want to make you crazy looking, which is very easy to do because our ethnicity is Gagosi. That's the craziest... Hair color. Give me something crazy. All right, they don't have the craziest hairstyle. Um, just do red. The theme is gonna be foreign. He actually has some pretty tame hairstyles. Um, I saw one. There you go. Let's go, Magister Kevin. Now we are a free city, so we'll have to deal with that. What kind of education? I don't know how much fighting we're actually going to do. I'm going to I'm imagining we're going to be doing some colonization for which we will need money. So I'm going to make you an incompetent steward so we can work on that. And plus with the gold mines and stuff of Gagosos. Yes, we're doing it. Can be his first son, sure. Inbred is the best trait. No, it's not. Did they add new animals or something? Um, no. If you get the sub mod for a more bloodlines, it adds way more than just bloodlines. I think that's where those traits come from. Anyways. Also, we could get wiped out by disease. Because that historically is what happened to Gagosos. It gets wiped out when, like, two different plagues hit it at the same time. Alright. I only have an hour to do this, so... Let's make it happen. Am I getting crashes already? No. Yes, there will surely be... Surely be problems. So I'm guessing this is my domain. Yes. We are the high city of Gogosos. <laughs> um... I could make the kingdom of the Basilisk Isles. We're Valyrian Gogosi, I like it. Which are Essosi. Excellent. Give me gold. I want gold. And who can I marry? Probably not many people, but if we were to become a king. If we were to become a king. I thought there was a way to get, like, great houses or some shit like that. Let's look in here. Uh, the women that are unmarried of great houses. And diplomatic range, yes. Really? That's considered a great house? Sell me! The sell me! Sell me blood! Um, so we're of House Roberts. Okay. Not crazy about it. She's a genius. Very nice. Never. I don't think I've ever actually married a, a shadow worshipper before. Um, adult, yes please. Okay. 
are these really great houses? I can marry Yeeti. We could go Yeeti. Could go Red God Worshipper. Chat, what should I do? Ironwood. Ironwood. Grant additional claim on the Kingdom of Red March. Blood Bloodline has strong seed. I might actually consider marrying matrilinearly. Mainly because Kevin doesn't have any uh, bloodlines, so we could we could um, adopt one if we're willing to... God damn, there's a lot of good options. I don't know what to do, chat. And I also want to form the kingdom. But will that change your government style? I don't know. Can't you marry three women? <gasps> oh my god, we can. We can, Mark. I died so much on that damn island in my playthrough. It's damn cursed island. Oh, god damn it. So it is cursed, huh? Yeah, Mark, you'll be the firstborn because of the religion. Yes, Mark is right. But if I make the kingdom, do we become feudal? No. No, I can't. Um, this is already your primary title, the free city of Gogoso. So I'm a, I'm a king. Wasn't I a king before? No, I was a high lord before. Now I'm a king. But it doesn't say I'm a king. It says I'm just a magister. Okay, well, if anyone has any, like, good, um, any good strategies for playing uh, free republics, please uh, let me know. Uh, oversee the realm. Do I have any troublesome vassals? We don't know yet. We don't know yet, but yes, everything seems to be going according to plan. Uh, until, you know, diseases and stuff hit us. So maybe building up our resistance to that shit might be good. Got a priest. Proselytize. Oh, do they all worship Valyrian? Oh, they all worship Valyrian. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Just go ahead and perform the charity. And I do want to see if I can marry matrilinearly. Because we could, in theory... Wait. If we marry the mall mat if we marry three women matrilinearly, then we'll be spawning. We'll be spawning th three different families. I have never done that before. Okay. Okay, chat, tell me who we should marry. We can marry three. We can marry three. And I want to get bloodlines. I want to get bloodlines. So who would be good? Naturally, we'd have to go for Westerosi, right? Because they have the bloodlines we all recognize. Haraway blood would be intrigue. I think it would be cool if we were to have uh, three different bloodlines, all who offer something different. Like they all specialize in something something special like... Uh, Intrigue, martial, or, 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 or diplomacy. And then we can see which of the families takes over. Um, as a republic, we also have our house. House Roberts. Yeah. Okay, cool. Who's expected successor? This guy. We need to kill him. So House Ironwood has Marshall and uh, Dornish. Haraway has uh, uh, Intrigue Corn. You don't have a bloodline, do you? No. Keltigar. Mariners. Yeah, but they don't really specialize in any particular stat. Chat's gonna have to tell me who to pick. Peak has intrigue, intrigue. Oh my goodness. Claims on the reach, plus 10 fertility, and they get double intrigue bonuses from being uh, of House Flor Florent and House Peak. Descended from Floris the Fox, House Peak are known for their boundless ambition and rivalry with the Mandalays, who they forced from the Reach. <laughs> Will that not make us lose the game? I don't know. You'd think I would know these things. Uh, features. No, these are game rules. Um. So if our house ends, then we don't play as a different house, right? Because the other dynasty would, inher would inherit. Yeah, I think it would, Mark. Are there any females that are... Really, Blackmont doesn't have a bloodline? The only way around this would be if we were to marry specific bloodlines that could... Um, 
you know, survive that, uh, could survive a regular marriage. Mm. God damn. Yeah, Mark, you're probably right. We would lose. Okay, well, you know what? We don't even know if they would agree to marry us. No! Would prefer a matrilinear marriage! Base reluctance. Yeah, yeah, screw you. Uh, yeah, I don't want to lose the game that early. Alright, fine. Uh, I suppose we have to go with more traditional. Um, now, here's something that we probably should keep in mind. We could possibly test it. We could try to marry a brindle a brindle a brindle woman i think is what they're called cannot usually breed with other ethnicities and they worship the dark gods i wonder if we could convert to this most known to the corsairs of the neighboring basilisk isles uh, are those who dwell closest to the sea of the northern shore who have learned the trade talk fierce warriors okay i don't know if the if that religion is any good who knows so something we probably want to keep in mind is the stats of the stats of your wives or wife gets added to your state intrigue. So if we had three, how does the game handle that? Does the game take the stats of all three and then add them to your state uh, your state stats, or does it take the stats of the, of your best wife and apply them that way? Chat, answer that question. Don't let your house die. Yeah, we won't. We won't let our house die. I just wonder if I can get... Um... Uh, yeah, they'll join my court. God, they look almost identical. I think they might be identical. Um, yeah, this is not going to work. Let's just uh, get on with it then, and we'll try to get people with the highest traits who can actually give us chillins. Um, brindle, 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 brindle. <clears throat> no, we can't do bloodlines because it won't, it won't, it won't work. All right, Mary. I'm just gonna pick a handful of them. Uh, <laughs> Twelve. 12, 19, Magier, Mary, send out Azentone, just a blank yellow field, that's a bug, and then Lenisa Stagon um, of Golden Bridge, Chaste and Brave, I don't really want to have to wait, is she, oh, she's infirm already, Kada. All right. Another Magir. I mean, I, I thought the Magirs were actually quite well known. So what could we get? Does she have any sisters? No. Uh, sh is this the your wife? Excellent. So we could actually marry one of her aunts. Why not? We're freaks like that. Oh, no. We could have married the entire Magyar family. But I fucked that up. All right, well, we'll get two out of three, I guess. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. It's everyone's concern. All right, excellent. He gives us the gold. Uh, my first wife. Well, where is first wife? I don't know. Here she is, and she doesn't like me. Um, That's fine, I guess. Um... I'm not actually going to pick any other... My Spy Master. My Spy Master really likes me for some reason. Um, State Inquisitor. Probably would involve someone with high intrigue, right? Right? Would it not? Chat? High Judge. Court Magi. Yeah, anyone that's content? Oh, look at those traits. Yes, train, train my vassals to be trusting, honorable, and content. How could you go wrong? Uh, hi, Admiral. Yeah, that could be you. And then Advisor can be you. Excellent. Excellent! I demand to be turned into a kingdom immediately. Monarchy. 
Prestige is greater or equal to 2,000, but we're halfway there. Has ruled for 15 years. And what is the last one? Diplomacy has to be greater or equal to 18. Fuck. Oh my god. I don't know if we can get it up that high. I would love it if we could. <laughs> I just don't know if it's going to happen. Host a wedding. Um. Yes. And all my vassals will be there. Marry as you please. Excellent. Pay me. Pay me. Shell it out. You should make your own bloodline. If we get enough prestige, we will be able to. It's everyone's concern. Now, we're making this guy go into bankruptcy marrying all of uh, his sisters and stuff. All right. Uh, Sar is under attack from Mir and is in need of aid at new. Work can be tedious. And when one problem is solved, another one pops up. No, I can... Re yes, no. We must... Okay, we gain stress. That's not ideal. But maybe... So, chat, do you think it added all of their stats to my state diplomacy? Because that would mean anyone who can marry multiple wives would have an innate advantage... Just because of just just because of the stats, uh, yeah. Let's be reasonable with our wedding. We don't need to go overboard, and I'll take the hit in prestige. Even though I kind of need my prestige to go up, I also need my diplomacy to go up. I will not be able to attend. Um, who is this? What is my court? All right, I'm just thinking we might have to start booting people out, and then the diseases are going to be coming. I will ask her to spend time with me. Setting up all these... I, I'm going to start denying... Me. Holy shit. Twelve? Twelve. Gold mines. Yes. God damn, my taxes are high. Large summer city with almost no defenses. But our second one is a huge summer fortress. Can I make gold mines there too? Can I make gold mines everywhere? OMG. OMG. Assuming we can survive the plagues, we have the potential to become an economic powerhouse. Um, I was honored to host an ambassador from the Moon King. She gets provoked, but that gives me a lot of prestige. No. I want her to fall in love with me. I need, I need... And then as we build up these, these these gold mines and shit, we can begin colonizing. I want. I wonder if I'll get the Basilisk uh, event. Probably not, because we technically can't colonize a place that is already colonized. But, like, what would I get if I were to colonize Basilisk Point? Oh, Jesus. Kevin! You fertile man, you. What about the Isle of Lice? Does he bend the knee? He does. He hates us, though. Holy cow! Excellent. And of course, the barking's happening now. It wouldn't do what you know. Wouldn't be a live stream without it. Um, pregnancy has made her. Yes, let her have her fun. I'm trying to. Ta oh, look at all this! Look at all this! You got gold mines here too, maybe, but we won't know until we get there. If we get there. Okay, I've already got some monies. So let's go ahead and start building the gold mines. Um, I'll buy her something nice. I'll buy her something nice and risk bankruptcy for my wife. And this guy wants me to join the dark cult. Now we could, we could, but that would make us never die and might make our ch no, 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 we're not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. It's just not fitting for our character, I think. Oh no. You've decided to introduce a new law to the good people of the realm. As is your right as their ruler, now you just have to decide on its contents. The Turnip Act, the Pants Act, the Hole in the Wall Act, the Cessation of Violence Act. Yes, I want to implement the Pants Act. The new law has been written and, and couriers are even now distributing it to all your vassals. You admire your handiwork. Whereas pants constrict not only the lower limbs and reproductive organs, but also the human soul. And whereas pants are known to be an affront to all forms of life, but man. Therefore, I, Magister Kevin of Gogosos, command that the use of pants be outlawed throughout the realm under the penalty of death. All existing variants of this garment are to be immediately burned and the ashes distri distributed evenly over the graves of our forefathers. This law will bring salvation to the realm. 
introduced insane law for two years. Great. But I imagine procreation will go up significantly, as there will no longer be pants. Wouldn't that mean people would just wear something else? Like kilts, maybe? There we go. And this guy r ruined my reputation. You clown. How dare you? Um, give me someone else who's better. <laughs> Izano's barely better. Barely better. Actually, everyone hates me. A faint whisper draws your attention. You find a haggard old crone in a dark corner of your mansion. Before you have a chance to throw her out, she explains that she is a magi, a sorcerer. She claims to be powerful in the ways of blood magic and has come to offer her services. You may stay. And now she hates me. All right, Azano, I need you to do what Lord Harlirio cannot do. Oh, we can just get, we can get Razar to do it. Well, you actually like me. So, so perform statecraft. Uh-oh, what is this? As I was lying in my bed at night, I was suddenly awoken by the hissing and growling of my favorite cat. The bedchamber was alive with scratching, scurrying noises coming from the very walls themselves. I sprang from the bed, but the noises suddenly disappeared, and the subsequent investigation of the chamber revealed nothing but patched stone walls. Somewhere a dreamer stirs. So I'm thinking this is either because we're a lunatic or it's because Gagosus is in fact cursed. Hey, Jay Stewart, welcome. Could there be rats in the walls? You just said the walls are made of stone. Somewhere a dreamer stirs. Nakorma Roberts. Great. Great. What does that mean? Since the incident some weeks ago, I have felt uneasy. I took a walk along the coast to clear my mind and found a small village where the people claim to worship the Drowned God, a god older than even those of the Valyrian faith. They invite me to join in their rituals and show me a dusty old grimoire written by a mad drowned man. Magister Kevin learns the forbidden secrets. What does that mean? What does it mean? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, what? Intense study of the Grim War has gained me much knowledge. I have, I have devised a ritual to awaken the drowned god where he sleeps, dead but dreaming, in his watery tomb beneath the ocean. The cult has prepared the ritual attire and are gathering the necessary sacrifices. Tonight he will wake. We gain one learning. We become drowned god. Is this supposed to be like Cthulhu or something? Puts on a black robe and a wizened old hat. And now we worship the drowned god. Okay, great. Great. We've abandoned the, well, we can always go back. Can you just convert the local religion in a uh, intrigue tab? Can I, I can, I can Mark. That is exactly what I was thinking I could do. Yeah, I could turn right back to it. Just give like a big F you to uh to the Iron I the, the Ironborn. Kill Hilario, or as long as no one's planning to kill me. The cult has gathered for the ritual on the shore of a black and stormy sea. The chanting begins, and in the depths of the dark waters something stirs. He comes, he comes. Master Kevin dies. <laughs> oh no. Are we dead already? Are we dead already? Oh, shit. We might be dead already. If that's the case, I need a better regent. I need a better regent and a better court tutor. Um, who, it, who would be the best court tutor? She's mystic, diligent, envious, and zealous. Okay. Uh, Shy is not good. Slothful is not good. Those are all pretty decent, but we'd be pretty bad at intrigue. Let's just... Do you. And then the regent can be the mother of this guy. Hesa, Hesa Magir. Who is that? Excellent. Designated heir to Barrow. Tiboro. Um, what else do we have? She'd be a handmaiden. Why not? So what happens when we die? Does Tiboro... Tiboro will probably be unlanded, right? I must survive. Oh shit! I steer the longboat through the raging waters towards the 
towards the monstrous creature? Why? Why towards? W wouldn't it be away? It stood as tall as the castle tower with the body of a man and the head of a of a great tentacle beast. I knew that I had awoken it from where it slept beneath the waves and that it was here to end the age of man. There was only one thing I could do. Ramming speed! I awoke in my bed, weak and sweating. The servants told me that they had found me on the shore naked and half drowned. I asked them about the creature in the ship, but they just looked at me with their worried eyes and shook their heads. It seems as only living, uh, only living witness to these events. I must put them to print. Fools, I saved you all. Um, we get God Slayer until 7909. For 10 years, we get plus 3 Intrigue and plus 2... Uh, uh, no, plus 3 Martial, plus 2 Intrigue. That's pretty good. I would prefer diplomacy, arrange a betrothal between Lord Freeholder and uh, my daughter. Uh, no. Uh, he wants to buy a Baron? Uh, sure, for 150 gold. All right, asshole. What's this guy doing? Uh, attacking Prince somebody in a slave raid. All right, well, we survived Cthulhu. That's good, because the it, it says the heir is going to be Tibro. But this guy's expected to succeed us. Can I not kill him? Demand religious conversion. No. We will go back. I mean, or, or we could remain as a drowned god worshiper. But that's kind of weird. Not really what I had planned. Um, no. No, we will go back to Valyrian. Because it is superior. For this particular playthrough, it is superior. And we're still trying to... Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. I lost all my wives. So Rain Magir has become... <laughs> oh, okay. That's weird. Um, yeah, that, that, that's kind of that's kind of weird. Um, Hessa, please don't leave me. Don't leave me. We can get married a second time. Great. <laughs> Great. That's awesome. A second time. And we can have a second wedding. Why not? Why not stack the vassal approval? Tax rate is 12. Is that because my gold mines are done? Nope, they're almost done. Now let's go ahead and get someone to... Uh, this guy wants... Yeah, he wants to marry my daughter. No, 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 no. Wasn't I married to her too? Yeah. J. Rees Valeros. Um, yeah. I'll marry her too. Decline. And I want um, someone who's better with the money. That guy has 11 stewardship. Apparently that's the best we can do. That is very disappointing. Um, oversee construction. No. Collect my taxes. Collect the taxes. Gold mine will be done here soon. Boom. Done. And what does that change to? Probably doesn't change at all, huh? That's fine. I am having my wedding, right? Or did I get cheesed out of my first wedding? I guess I got cheesed out of it. That's annoying. And the Corna has rabies, so she's probably dead. As that is most often a fatal... Fatal disease. I guess I'm not going to have a wedding then. He's just doing his job. Alright. 13? Okay, that does make a discernible difference. Um, what else do I own? Uh, Castle of Gugosa. So, I have the castle here, too. Yes? Ho, ho, ho. Gold. Gold mines. They can be expanded to spice plantations. <gasps> you were overjoyed to learn that Rainla was pregnant, but it turned to rage as she confessed you were not the father. You lie with him. You lie with him. Um, that's not good. Okay. So I'm going to throw you in the dungeons. He will probably escape. God damn you son of a bitch. She is the unfaithful. I can arrange a divorce. Uh, for her unfaithfulness. Yes, she has been unfaithful. That child is not mine. Holy cow. Yeah, we are, we are actually making money faster than I thought I would. Alright, get more gold. This really is the place to go for the gold. Uh, when your wives covets the position, yes, you'll make a good wife. Hessa's opinion, she gets very disappointed. Who is my first wife? It's Hessa again. Okay, let's stop swaying her. I, I can give her a gift, right? Yeah, and almost go broke because of it. No, Hessa must be my first wife. Uh, we need a new wife. A new third wife. 
Uh-oh. Dangerous faction. Depose Magister Kevin. No! No! Don't do it! Um, Pisaria, uh, she's nine. Um, I kind of want oh, another wife right now. 54, 24, 18, 18. Serana, yeah. And she, honestly, I'd like her to be the court tutor, but it's okay. It's whatever. This plot needs to go, oh my god, they're, they're all on board. Traitors! Why do they hate us so much? It won't tell me. Introduced Insane Law. Okay, that's reasonable. Short Reign. That sucks. Medium Rule Authority. That sucks. Not on the council. Well, you know, dude, you suck. That's why you're not on the council. And I can't imprison him. Why not? Can afford to lose 10 piety. What? Who is my spy master? Should you not be doing... God, everyone hates us. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, she's not a good idea to have... Uh, what can I do to make her like me? What is her religion? Gods of Sarnor? Yes, demand demand conversion. And now she's got food poisoning, and she's a probably... She's done, though. Yep, she's done. Um, wow. Okay, so I really do feel cursed. I, but I can have a wedding, though. Could I... So she has 17 Intrigue. That's amazing. What I might do is I might grant her freedom and then marry her. So where is she now? Is she still my spy master? She is. I would marry you. Oops. Because I need you to protect me. <laughs> protect me, please. Um, assign Guardian. Um, what am I? What, what, is, what, is, what is this? Um, no. Kidnap, request, council support. There's nothing else I can really do. All right. Hey, Josh, welcome. Cursed, yeah. Yeah, things are not going too well. I'm trying my best to make the monies. I'm really... Okay, so it seems that Korna is still alive, even though she has rabies. That's She's pretty much dead. Um, but we still have Tibero. Oh, Mark. Mark, you said you wanted to be the firstborn son, didn't you? Right? Okay, first... Yeah, Mark. All right. So, Mark of House Roberts. Mark Roberts. And then, uh -huh, already she's going after my enemies. Um, it is Lord Master. It is him. Um, let's see. Our marshal's a lot higher than his. Threaten him. Threaten him. You are forgiven. Excellent. I can join societies. I could join the Alchemist's Guild, but what would I get? You can use a rare elixir, study the stars. I will join the Alchemist's. <laughs> Excellent. Now this faction. There we go. My third wife did her did a good job. We can still do much good. Excellent. Yes, get my piety up. And then Mark, you're here. You have a headache. Oh gods. Oh man. I don't know. It's gonna be it's it oh numbers numbers eludes me. Math frustrates me and taxes don't even talk about taxes. Every time I try to understand organized expenses and revenues, I get frustrated and feel inadequate. Stuart Garanor, please help me. 25% um, chance we lose stewardship and we lose stressed. I will fight the numbers and defeat them. Appreciates your trust in him. I don't want to lose stewardship. I must fight the number. Oh. Uh oh. The dancing plague. Oh, that's not good. Um, now, if we have the dancing plague. Oh, does he have it too? No, he has the flu. Jesus. Oh, Kevin, you have your work cut out for you. Did he get good treatment? He did. Ooh, five gold. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, so I, yeah, I mean, it, it, we can't really go into into the thing. No, 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 no. After enjoying a hearty meal, you look out the window at the dancing peasants. The music is tantalizing, tantalizingly inviting, and you have felt a bit restless as of late. We need a hospital. I'm already building the refuge. No, I should get some rest instead. Join the peasants' dance. No, I had, I, I have noticed that with the dancing plague, you don't, you're not prompted to close the gates. Is this the same shit? It is. It is the same shit. Where is it? Okay, it's spreading out of Gagosos. Ah, oh, there it is. I, I couldn't tell uh, if the, 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 disease, the disease is there. Um, 
Oh, what? Yeah, I don't, I can't shut the gates. An epidemic is active and closed. So it is one of the rare epidemics where you can't close the gates. Bruh, that will kill you. Um, all right, that's not good. Enter the slave trade. That would allow us to get more goods. Yes. Delegate granting honorary titles. Yes. Limited slave labor. I should get some rest instead. All right. Avoid the dancing. 14. That's what I like to see. And that's because my second gold mine was made. Yeah. Um, okay, she's uh, she's doing fantastic with the piety. Maybe the dragon gods will um, spare us. Sympathy for the drowned god? I think not. All right, it seems she survived. That's good. Brother-in-law married Henira. Good choice. Just keep giving me the monies. Now. Now, I know there's disease and stuff going on. Uh, that she's kept by the grace and strength of hunting birds and begs me for a bird. Surely even the spouse of the magister must be allowed to enjoy the noble pastime of falconry. Will a buzzard do? Too dangerous, my love. No, I will I will let you have it. If I wanted to attack Noth, can I? I can. Sacking their cities and taking their people as captives. What is this? Piety. Ooh. They have 2,000 and we have 15,000. We could... We could, we could, we could. And in all honesty, the more slave labor we have would make building in Gagoso so much easier. Look how cheap that is. Isn't this normally 75? 20% reduction. Mm. But at the same time, saving up money is what's allowing me to make these gold mines. And will allow me to... Um, uh, 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 colonize more places as well. So there's, I mean, there's choices. There's choices. And what I really like about it... Oh. I should really look into security of my lab. Lab? What lab? I mean, we are a part of the alchemist guild, but I didn't build a fucking lab. No. No. We will not do that. In fact, I'm gonna make... She still has rabies. How is she not dead? That's amazing. I may have the my my children marry each other, keep the bloodline, bloodline pure, and you know all that jazz. But because of go, like just because of our geographical location, oh god, there's room, <laughs> there's plots to kill me. Um, I, I don't feel really threatened by outside powers, which is very nice. It's a nice feeling, and plus, you know, our garrison is quite large. Although I don't know how long that's actually going to last for, because uh, Pentos is under attack from the anti-slavery Bravos, and is in need of our aid. Bravos is trying to make Pentos uh, not do slavery anymore. No, we won't get involved. That's in Essos. We're not in Essos. We're in Sothorios, all right? Now, unfortunately, we can't just outright invade. Now, if we were... No, I was going to say, if we were Ironborn, then we could invade. But the Cass's Belly, just to invade a place as the Ironborn, is hard. It takes a lot to do. Has no true abode fit for the purpose of the guild. Um, they want me to build. It will cost 300 to, con to construct. Uh, the Republic. I really should be trying to get my son elected. As opposed to building this um, lab. Let's keep it. Let's keep it there though. Alright Marky Mark. What do you need? He gets one learning. Excellent. Superb. And I'm still trying to fall in love. I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know if it's going to happen. So let's see here. He needs to somehow beat Lord Master Orus, Orus, who has four thousand respect. <laughs> Jesus. And I believe every ten gold we put into this will increase our. I would have to spend four thousand gold to get my son elected, or I could just kill this guy. Uh, no, he doesn't want to. I could also try to Im imprison him. Since we have evidence he's the leader of the plot, no one will object. What is, what, what, what is this? Is returning a favor to the spy master. I am I am wary of hostile actions against pos, against powerful vassals. This affects the stability of the council. Ugh. 
How many fate every Oh my god. My third wife and spy master literally controls the council. They all owe her favors. If you get ambitious, can you then do the grand invasion? Maybe. Can you take over the Sothorios Islands? If we if we um Solo Dolphin wants to be the second born son. Yeah, I, we can do that solo. Um, can we take over the islands? Well, we already have the islands here. If you're talking about, like, actually the actual continent of Sothorios, we need to colonize it. And we need 400. I have col- Look at that- Look at that tax balance, though. 15! 15. 15. Yeah, we're making money. Um, if we have four- I have colonization set to be the cheapest- Oh, God. This place is plagued with diseases. And our firstborn daughter is dead from rabies- we have lost diarrhea. Excellent. 15, yeah, 15 gold. So we keep collecting gold like this. We will be colonizing in no time. Bookkeeping is an unappreciated art, and you have taken it upon yourself to master it. You've gained a clear picture of the realm's finances. Yes. Give me 10 stewardship. Dana Targaryen now has a dragon. I probably should have seen if I could have married any of the Targaryens. She's already betrothed to somebody, right? She's betrothed to her dad. Gross. Gross! Fucking gross. House Sonarian. Blood of the Dragon. Alright, that's cool. I'm thinking about colonizing Basilisk Point first. Because we can't do the Western Sothorius jungle for some reason. It's just too much. But I'm eager to see what we can make. We can actually upgrade our gold mines into spice plantations. I don't know how that works. Um, a group of craftsmen. Mm, noticing your interest. Look, okay, so they want me to invest in them. We'll begin preparation for producing goods. I think this just helps with construction and stuff, though. Which could be good. Mm -mm, nah, we're not going to do it. Hmm. So I could further invest in my gold mines. And and Heathy is pregnant. Great. Village markets, 2.5. Tax value, trade value. That goes up considerably. 127 gold. One of your slaves has distinguished himself. Yes, his talents will be useful here. I will give you position as bodyguard. And I will demand religious conversion. He is an old god worshiper. My wife will give birth under auspicious stars. I would laugh so hard if she had a child of prophecy. He will regret this. All right. So let's upgrade. Oh, uh, I cannot upgrade my city. Can I upgrade Make County Capital? Can't do that. And I also can't upgrade it. But I can continue building my gold mines. I would like to see. All right. Gonna invest in spice plantations. Um, is there anything else I directly own here? No. But I could, I could, I could, I could just invest it in Gogosos altogether. Build really high, as they say. Building high. Uh, if my opinion, yeah. So let's not do that. Let's be just. Let's try to be a good ruler. It will uh, help with our uh, the longevity of our rule. I might even have my um, stop it. Select her. I'm going to have you oversee construction. Make this shit build faster. Because he's not getting us any tithes. So at least he can help with the building. Which will make all this end faster. Alright. She wants to be my first wife. No! Hessa is the best. Okay. And, uh, he and, and Heathy has given birth to the second child. Which will be... Which will be Solo Dolphin. Solo Dolphin. I'm not going to put in the 22. It'll be just Solo Dolphin Roberts. You should have made a custom Dragon Rider and do what the Targs did. Uh, yeah, but I didn't really want to play a Dragon Rider. I wanted to I wanted to see what it's like to play as Gagosos. If it truly is as cursed as people say... <laughs> Miriam is yelling for me to kill everyone. <laughs> no, Mary. Mary, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. I'm going to be a good ruler. All right? 
My wife has been avoiding me. She's not visit. Oh, so she has syphilis. Oh, she has been very naughty. She has been very naughty. But she... I don't actually care. And I kind of need her to be my spy master. But at the same time, I believe... I think if we're married... Hey, Zambo, welcome. If we're married to her, I think there's a chance we might contract syphilis. And that's dangerous. And we can't afford to have Magister Kevin the Mad die. We can't have that happen. Because as it stands, we're going to lose the election. We're going to lose the election. So if I just start jacking money into this, does that transfer to respect? Why are you respected? Age factor 3000, prestige 419, and campaign font is 700. 150, 0, 0. All right, so apparently age is a huge, huge, huge factor in getting elected. Okay. As well as prestige. Okay. Uh, it can be increased by investing money in the campaign fund, but women and children can never be elected. So he must survive until adulthood, and we must survive as well. Which means... Unfortunately, she must be dealt with. 30% chance he gets the trait kind. Well, that is what I'm... Imprison her. I could just divorce her. Let's see if I can get the trait kind. Damn it, I didn't. But yeah, we need to break up with her. Arrange a divorce. Can pay 169 gold. Why do I need to pay her 169 gold? I mean, yeah, I'll be able to afford it soon. You know, soon. Spice plantations! And they've been built here too, yes. I do need the gold. Yeah, but I don't want to lose my tax rate. 15, that actually didn't help much. Arrange divorce. Uh, Alright, I need 160. Wait a minute. Oh, now it's 190! Now it's 190. Her syphilis went away. What? I didn't know that was possible. Okay. That's a little weird. Um, 115. A fine acquisition. Wait a minute. Oh, I bought her? Um, I didn't want to buy her. Oh, great. Great. Um, all right. I command you to partner. Excellent. Now they'll produce more. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well. So we can see it overall didn't increase our tax rate by much, per se. Um, revolt risk is actually pretty damn low. All right, and Hithy is pregnant again. It's better to produce more gold mines as opposed to just improving them over time. It's good to do both, but I think for if you want to do a classic, just get as much gold as you can rush. You want to build gold mines all over your realm as opposed to just like just just one spot. Just kill her if you can't divorce her. Oh, there's not really a reason to divorce her anymore because she's she lost syphilis somehow, which is amazing. And also, our, also, her intrigue is much, much, much higher than ours. And we're actually really not that liked. Really not, not really. Which, actually, I probably should be having my, um, my justiciar do something about that. Who is my most rambunct rambunctious vassal? It's probably this guy. Mm, yeah, depose us of the Isle of Serpents. So I will have you go there and improve relations. I need another court physician. My court physicians are getting wrecked. Um, yes, let everyone know I'm looking for one. Um, choose a syncretic faith. Eh, I don't want to do that. Man, I'm getting hungry. All right, she can be a bodyguard as well. My court tuta. Ambitious? Nah, let's not let the A hey, gorilla. I will buy her something nice. Looks like Team Red AMD is taking the gloves off for Team Green Davidia in this GPU fight. Uh, if you say so, Josh, I'll have to take your word for it. Welcome, Josh, by the way. 
I should really look over the security of my lab. I don't care about my lab, though. I actually don't really care about the alchemist's skill at all. I just want money. Is it that difficult to ask for? Um, uh, right. So, so, gold mines in Bandos. And we can see my taxes actually went up for making gold mines in Bandos, the city of El... 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 El and the castle of Basilisk Point. We will make gold mines everywhere. Uh, one of your slaves in the camps has distinguished themselves. Yes, his talent will be good here. And then we can sell, 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 sell. I'll take whatever I can. Yeah. Could you establish a bank? Once I have like a thousand gold, I can. Uh, and as far as like how banks work, I'm not entirely sure. EMT just got done with showing off their new GPUs. I need a new GPU. I need a new everything. He's bedridden with the flu. Mark, you're probably dead. I'm sorry for your lose. I am sorry. And have I selected my court physician? No! The game is cheesing me out of court physicians now, because I just got one. Can only look for a physician every three years. Okay, well the last physician we had left as soon as he joined. So now we're, we're physicianless. <laughs> is that a word? F physicianless? I need a physician. Bellano, will he do it? I do not know. Let's just get you here. Uh, you're an astronomer. We'll just test with the first two dudes. See if they can be my physician. I, I, I am not really sure. Yeah, he can be my physician. What is the, like, what is the requirement? Does he have to be an academic? Is that what that means? Treat, treat Mark. You must treat Mark, please. Um, Mark, get treatment. No, I probably have to go to my actual physician. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Hmm, is that, is that here? No, I don't have an option for that. Donate to the guild! Hire an alchemist. No. So I did start building a gold mine here, yeah? How about we put one here? Do it! Sweet! And not only has Mark survived, he has gotten diligent and plus two diplomacy. Mark, you're gonna be a, you're sizing up to be a pretty damn good character. Duty, and we have another daughter who is a giant. And you said the Isle of Gagosos was cursed. It is not cursed. Our treasury, we have a spotted cat pelt. When did I get this? Uh, monthly prestige. How about gold? 80 gold. Hand it over. Um, I've discovered a plot where Lord Larian of Skull Isle seeks to kill Anheithi. <gasps> you would dare. Now, tell me. Tell me if this is true. Voter has no particular opinion and is swayed by the diplomacy rating of other voters. All right, is returning a favor to Azano, but is voting their conscience as Azano is abstaining. Who the fuck is Azano? <laughs> is Lord Larion on my court? No. Is returning a favor? Who is Azano? Oh, my justiciar. All right. The men sent to go out to arrest Lord Larion. We're unable to get past his guards, but he futilely surrendered. He was plotting to kill my wife. He should have known better. Can I be your second child? Um, Solo Dolphin is the second child. Uh, do you mean third son? I mean, there is a daughter available. Name your daughter. Per... Per... Paris... Foot. Oh my god, Mariam. Paris... No. Persephonipia. Okay, god, I cannot read. Yes, Persif Persif Persephonipia. Okay, it's going to take some time to get used to. Persephonopia. My god, did I spell that right? Persif Persephonipia. Persephonopia. No, I didn't do that right. Persephonopia. Jesus. Did I spell that right? Persephonopia. I'm just going to call her Percy, but... My God, I hope I did that. Apparently, that is a name. <laughs> what did... Did you just find that out, Miriam? You're like, yes! Make Joe use it. 
Um, uh, when she gets married away, you can say, I lost my purse. Oh, that's, that's, that's cute. I lost my purse. When your beloved wife, uh, wants the position, first, uh, I've got to, i got to keep up with construction. Shadia Banda, Temple of Gogosos, cannot make gold mines, so I don't know if making, um, gold, if making temples are really worth it because you can't build gold mines there. I'm still unsure if gold is, is, like, if the gold mines are attached to the tile, or if they're just attached to the county as a whole, or if they're attached to the building type, whether it's a castle, or a city, or a temple, another gold mine. Now, if I wanted to build this, it would take 775 gold. What is my tax right now? Can I get this up to 20? Probably right. Ah, oh, my Lord Treasurer is gone. Ass. Alright, keep keep looking stuff up. This is the... Whoa! On the, the, for their factions. Their, their factions. No, 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 no. Naughty, naughty vassal. What is this? Must have a valid reason to imprison. Yeah, I guess I, I guess I do. How about you? My plotting is garbage. This has been a, a, a rather kind of chill. Oh my! This, this guy is gonna overthrow me. Where, Magister, High Judge of Gagosos? You're on my council. Really, you're on my council. What is this guy's name? Is his name Jaycar? Master Jaycar. You need to go bye bye. I'm going to revoke your honorary title from losing title and from making him upset. Well, he can go cry in a corner. Because he's using his position on the council to get favors, and I don't like that shit. Um, alright. So, as far... Ah, here we go. Alright, Arano, Arano, you're in. And I could invite Casporio, who's betrothed to... F I, I just want someone who likes me. Why are we so hated? Is Ruthless and Lunatic really that, really that bad? Well, he likes us. Then the High Admiral. Uh, 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 the General of Gagosos. Oversea Construction. Alright. Gold mines, gold mines, gold mines. Spice plantations, those are getting upgraded, very nice. I could upgrade these to large spice plantations. A wealthy man has arranged to meet with you. He claims that he wants to purchase not just one slave, but several thousand from your camps. 400. Done! <laughs> I couldn't resist. I couldn't resist. That's going to make building the next city, though, expensive. Although we could easily... We could easily get more if we were to invade Noth. What time do I have? I have to go! I have to go to work, people. I have to go to work. I have to end the live stream. I was only going to do it for an hour, and I got lost in just making money and building stuff up. Guys, Gogosos is awesome. It is an awesome place. Um, I highly suggest you all play it. You can play it as if you if you go to the bookmarks, you go to the very first one, Century of Blood, you can play as Gagosos. Or you can do it the hard way and you can colonize it, which gives you the whole basilisk chain. If you do things right, you can get a bloodline and a Valyrian steel sword. But they have a lot of potential. No, don't go. I, I have to. Work, you're working right now. Okay, yeah, but I have to. I have to, otherwise I become homeless, and then there will be no live streams in the future. Everyone who's here right now, leave a like if you don't. I'll be very upset with you. Also, we'll probably have more live streams before Saturday. Saturday is going to be the, like, crazy long horror live stream for Halloween. So be sure to be there if that interests you. Uh, also, keep an eye on the channel because, as I said, there will be more live streams in the future. Already did. Excellent. Excellent. Anyways, I'm going to end it right here. I have been the Golden Joe Oblivion, and this has been the Golden Magister Kevin, the crazy mad guy of Gagosos. Possibly, it could potentially become one of my new favorite regions in Westeros. In Westeros. Anyways, until next time, I will see you all 